Please take a minute to read this story problem, which is about the value of um, inventory for a shopkeeper in terms of a software program based on time, um, T being the number of years since the, uh, the shopkeeper just bought the software program. Go ahead and read. Okay, V represents the value of the, of the software program. This negative 50 means essentially that the value of the software decreases in the value by $50 every year because T is the number of years since the uh, shopkeeper first bought the program. So $50 every year, T years. The 300 is likely the investment in the software, that initial purchase was $300. What I'm going to do is it says in part A to find the value of the software, given that I'm depreciating it at a rate of $50 a year, having bought it at $300, after zero years, four years, and six years. So I've created a table here of values. So when X, or T in this case, is zero right there, V would be found by taking a negative 50 times 0 and adding 300 to it. Well, negative 50 times 0 is 0, and when I add 300 to it, it means that the value of the software was $300 initially. Four years later, however, so four years later, the value of that software, I'm going to go ahead and, and move off to the left here a little bit. The value of that software would be a negative 50 times 4 plus the 300. And so that's a negative 200 plus 300. Or it's only worth $100 at that point. So when T was 4, the value, negative 200 plus 300, is 100. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 100 in here. And then when the timing is 6 years later, I'm going to go ahead and write here that the value would be a negative 50 times 6, which is a negative 300, and then I have to add 300 to that, and a negative 300 plus 300 is zero dollars. must be that we've depreciated that software completely. What I need to do now in Part B is to graph the equation and then um, use that graph to estimate the value of the software at a period of five years. I'm going to remove the problem here. And Show some graph paper from behind. Straighten that up a little bit. Would you just notice that on the x-axis, I have t, which represents time. And on the y-axis, I have represented V, or the value of this software, and I've chosen to show increments from 0 to $400 because I knew the software cost 300 originally, and sometimes I like to go a little bit beyond that, so I have some room here. Um, be sure, please, to always label your axes, and there was no reason to put all four quadrants in this problem because I would never use a negative number of years, so in terms of time, I would never use a negative number of years, and then I would never show a negative value on that software. Um, once it's depreciated, it's depreciated. Once it's equal to zero. So my first order of pairs, when time is zero, I bought that software for $300. So there's my first order of pair. My second order of pair, when time is four years, the software is worth $100. So I'll go to the right over to four and up to 100. And then when time is six years, I, um, the software is worth zero dollars. And I'm kind of looking to see that this is represented by a straight line, and it sure looks like it is. I'm going to draw a line through the data. I'm not going to extend down below the x-axis. And then finally, try to remember, please, that this problem asked us to estimate the value of the software at five years. So I would go right here, because this is between four and six, or five years, and I would go up to my line and go over here and look and estimate and see what I think that value for y would be. It appears 
to me that the value of the software would be $50 after five years, and I could, of course, put it into the original equation to check that as well. Here's a good graph of an application of linear equations, and there are a tremendous number of them, um, and you will see them in your science classes especially, and they allow us to do some really, really great things for us, even in terms of technology. Um, so, a very, very important topic. Uh, we're going to move on now and look at um, graphing in a different way, and we're going to look at horizontal and vertical lines, the graphs of those as well.